friends, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. And I hope you're having a good day and a good weekend. So here is the other book that I promised that I am uh, going to turn into a December Christmas journal. And uh, when I when this person asked me to make a journal, I thought about the cover and I wanted to find something different but still Christmassy and fun and pretty so I found this in my stash it's a gooseberry patch recipe book and it says celebrate winter but it has all these Christmassy things on the front <laughs> it's so pretty got a Christmas tree a wreath and just all these fun little gingerbread men and things on there let me look let me look let me let you look at it <laughs> Welcome friends. I just love, I love Gooseberry Patch Christmas. I mean, recipe books, cookbooks, whatever, not necessarily Christmas ones. I love them all. Pretty much the ones like this with a spine like this. So what I'm doing, let's get started. I'm taking this spine off and I'm going to make a new spine. So let's just, all, all you do. Now I have made a, a journal out of one of these cookbooks before, but I didn't really make a new spine. I, it was when I first started making journals. And I believe, if I remember right, I made a, I used a ring, I used rings, notebook rings, and made, just put, put new holes in, put the rings in, put pages in. It was really pretty, really nice. It's, it's on my channel. The video's on my channel. If you want to see it somewhere at the beginning of time. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's that easy to take these apart. So there you go. <laughs> no cutting involved, right? So here's the pages, and I will use uh, some of these pages in here. Uh, sometimes it's cool to, if you use the, the pages, you can turn them around and have this little part here on the outside, and it's kind of fun. Some kind of, sometimes you can weave something through there if you want. I'm going to keep them in order for right now, though, and we'll deal with that later. Uh, the pages today, we're going to get this ready. So I went through all my Christmas fabrics again to pick out a um, fabric to go on this spine and I picked out this red it has little dots on it and the reason I picked this one out is because I like the red against this this is if you can I know you can see a lot of green here and this is very busy so like I had some busy fabrics and just like kind of like I don't know it didn't look good it just didn't jive so this kind of brings out the reds in here and kind of brings it all together so I think anyway so that's what I'm, my plan is first we got to make a new spine which I'm going to make a two inch spine for this like I did yesterday and this happens to pretty much fit this little chipboard or cardboard I have here I just need a tiny sliver off the bottom here for the height just a tiny sliver so let me let me uh, where's my scissors gonna have my glue upside down there so you know let me cut this off so I can deal with this piece of cardboard here in a more reasonable fashion <laughs> this is in my way in other words this is in my way let me get that out of my way okay so now I can cut a sliver I don't need both of these but I'm just well let me open it up take that one away so do I really need to take off a sliver? Oh, maybe I don't. Well, cool. It's like the perfect height. Okay, I don't even have to cut it. So now I need to measure two inches. And so I haven't made a spine on one of these types with the little holes over here before, but I think it won't be a problem. I'm just gonna do it like I normally do it and we'll see. Well, everything's in my way today. All right, let's move this over a little bit more. <laughs> I'm trying to get my two inches here. Okay, two inches right there. I'm going to cut that. Yes, yeah, so this one was by request too, like I said. And they want a Christmas journal. So, super excited to make a Christmas journal out of this cookbook cover. Because I don't think I've ever done that before. I've made I used cookbook covers, but never made it into a Christmas journal. And when I, I thought a long time about this cover, like, what do I want to use type, type of thing for this cover for this person? 
and uh, I thought, let me look through my cookbooks and see if I have any Christmassy type. So I was thinking Christmas cookies and things like that. And then I found this one. I was like, oh my goodness, this is so perfect. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cute, <laughs> I think. So we're gonna do it just like we do any other, even though it has these holes here. And I think it'll be fine. So there we go. We got our space, and we're gonna get our tape. I think I left. Yeah, here it is. And just like the other one. We're going to put some tape in here and some fabric all around. Now I like this cover. I like the inside of this cover, so I'm going to see. Like I don't really necessarily like what it says here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just, you know, I think we can do something here, and here because this just talks about, you know, the books, the 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 uh, gooseberry patch books. It's not like a recipe or anything cool. I like the snowman here, but. I'm going to do something here, and I'm going to try to leave the plaid on the on the frame, and then do something here. So that's the plan. So um, it doesn't. What my point is, it doesn't matter what I cover up here on the inside. <laughs> my whole point of that whole explanation was, it doesn't matter what I cover up here because I'm going to cover up this, but I'm going to leave as much as the plaid as, as I can. Okay, so I've got my groove going on here. Let me get it nice and even. I'm going to put some tape over. I want to make sure I go over those holes. So I guess about half and half here. Half over the book cover and half over the, on this one, half over the chipboard. All right. And I think, like yesterday, I wrapped it around. And like I said, I want. I just want to sh wanted to show you. It doesn't matter. Sometimes... I show you how I do it when I wrap it around and sometimes I just cut it off so it's either or whatever you're more comfortable with you know so I'm just gonna cut it off today it doesn't really matter either way I don't think it does anyway okay so the same here on the front uh, I do want to not I don't want to cover up any of my decoration here you know this all this Christmassy decoration but I will do it. I will cover up those holes about half and half, like I did on the other side. So about half, half on the cover. Let's see how that looks. How much it covers up? Uh, it covers up a little bit too much. So I'm just going to cover up the holes and a little bit more because I want to make sure I have plenty of sturdiness here attaching my new spine. So yeah, that's plenty. It's probably uh, almost half an inch over over the spine there. So that's plenty. I'm going to pull this down a little extra so I can have some room to cut here. And then we'll smooth that out. Uh, okay, just a sec. Let me put this down. We'll get it going for the other side here. Okay, so uh, we'll smooth that out. All nice and pressed down. And we'll just kind of wrap that around a little bit there on the ends. And there's that cover. So it just goes right over the holes and you have your new spine and the holes are all covered up and no, no problem, right? <laughs> yeah, I never did it before, but I was wondering because I have, well, I have several. I have some with the plastic, you know, like that, these gooseberry patch. And then I have several vintage books, like especially cookbooks with the metal coil. You know how those little Betty Crocker books come with the metal coil? And I really love those. I would love to be able to leave those in, but I don't see how I can do it unless I just make it into an altar book, which is not the not what I want would want to do, you know. I would want more room in there, so I don't know. <laughs> One day I'm going to get to that those journals and and work on those and see what we come up with. But yeah, I do buy those because I really think they're cool. And uh, so I need to experiment with those. Okay, I left a little there to. Apparently, I left a little here to fold over, didn't I? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and now let's see. We well, got the inside all done. We just need a piece here on the on this back cover. 
there's these ladies pictures here and this little story about a little letter from the oh from the writers I guess so I'll probably be covering that up with something I would like to including the picture and the barcode so we'll work on that that'd be a cool place to put like a little pocket with a tag wouldn't it that would be really cool so that's that's an idea that is an idea that I really like so I think I might do that Okay, so the fabric's already going to cover up some of this this barcode, so that's good. So I've got this tape pretty far over to get a nice grip on the cover and everything. So, yeah, this one's going to be quick, so I'm not putting fabric on the inside right now or anything to the inside. We're just really putting the spine on here, and then we're going to get going. Get going with other decorations in the next video. So, that'll be fun. All right, so I think I'm done with this. Let me make sure everything's smoothed down and get this folded. I got a little bit of fold here. I don't like how far this is going over. It's not even with the front, so I'm going to cut this right here. See this right here? A little piece of tape that's just uh, the front is fine. It's front, fr fine to have it, you know, over on the outside, but I don't want it here sticking out right there. So I just cut that little piece off so I can fold that even. So this is all even here. Okay, now let me get that off my finger <laughs> and see if we can put some fabric on here before our time ends today. So I'm going to push that into the grooves real good and get that going. Okay, it all looks good there. See, so here we go. Nice. I like it. Okay, so I think I am done with my paper cutter too. Let me move that. And I need my, I've got my fabric scissors here and my ruler. Okay, I think we're set to do something with the fabric. So I think this is going to be really pretty. Nice, add a nice punch of color here and bring all the red out in our, in our pretty uh, picture here. Pretty graphics. So of course it doesn't matter which way this goes. I just want to see which way it'll wrap around though all the way. I kind of would like it to wrap around and not have to cut pieces. So let's see how long this is. So it goes here, wraps around. See, it doesn't quite, oh, it does. It does. It just makes it. Wow. Okay. That's perfect. Huh. It has a nice straight edge over here, but <clears throat> uh, I might leave that straight edge. Let me see how it looks. Let me see how it looks. I don't know if I like the straight edge. Let me go ahead and tear a piece. And then I'll leave room to tear over here in case I decide to make that frayed instead of so, so straight. So um, let me tear a piece that is about half an inch over the tape here. <laughs> let me see if that's enough. Yeah, that should be enough. So if I tear this edge off, Maybe I'll just go ahead and make a decision here. I see. I just don't know if I'm going to be using any. Uh, like I always say when I put the fabric on, I, I've been saying that lately. I don't know if I'm going to use any trim. So, well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fray this side just in case. Either way, I can use trim, not use trim, and it'll be frayed. And just, I just think it's prettier when it's when it's frayed. If I don't, in case I don't use trim, I didn't want that frayed edge. See, it just I don't know. It just adds a I guess a vintage look to it or something. Okay, so that'll go there. And I'll just go over the tape a little bit over here. I'm just gonna put it. Let me see what the inside looks like. With that, yeah, that covers plenty on the inside too. Okay, so about quarter of an inch or so over where the tape ends. Probably more like half an inch. Okay, so we'll tear right here. And then we'll, just, then we'll do some gluing. Okay, let me put this, I'll hang this over here so it doesn't get wrinkled. All right, cut off our strings. Okay, now I'm not gonna tear off any off the ends because it just barely wrapped around. When we measured, 
And if I tear any off the ends, like to get a frayed edge on the ends, it uh, might not make it. So I'm just trying to get all my strings off and then we can start gluing. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Got my art, my um, fabric tack, same bottle, still using the same bottle. It's down to about an inch <laughs> and a half, inch and a quarter there. So it's going, going, going. All right. So we're doing the outside first, apparently. <laughs> it's kind of good to get the front cover done first, I guess. That might be a smart thing to do. Get that just the way, you know, because you want that to be really perfect. The inside is going to be covered up with the, especially the snow part, with the signatures. Okay, so I think I got a lot on there. I'm just going to get it around the edges here. And as you see me do before, if you watch my other videos, I kind of get the tape part done first, covered, and then I'll put glue under the edges of the fabric that needs glue that's like sticking out over here. Okay, so. Uh, with the light in, in here, I can't always see what kind of glue is on here, so I need to pick it up and look and make sure there's plenty of glue on here. Okay, and just kind of fill in. Make sure. I don't want it to dry. Just want to make sure it's coming out here. I'm having to squeeze really hard on this bottle. Okay. To get it to come out. I'm trying to see. I'm still trying to see. That's why I'm moving it around, making sure there's glue on there. Okay, now I'm going to spread this out. I don't know. A lot of times I try to remember to spread it out so that in case you can see through the fabric, you don't get little like glue lines and splotches and stuff and lumps or whatever might show through. So, and again, I like to put the um, long side to the top and then wrap it around and have a short short piece at the bottom there okay so I've got it right on the edge of the let me pick it up and put it right on the edge of the tape here because I don't want to cover up my picture and then pull it but I don't want any of my tape showing okay I think that's good okay I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Well, this is a nice little string we can use on tags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I might make some ephemera in the next couple of videos for these journals, these two Christmas journals I'm working on. On Tag Tuesday, I'll make some tags for these, special Christmas tags. And tomorrow, uh, I think I might make something like journal cards or, you know, things like that. Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, so we've got, yeah, we need a little bit more glue here. Let's see, I've got some coming out there. Let me wipe it off under there. So we need it about out to here. Get under this edge. See, it's not coming out onto my book. I just want it to go under the edge, but not come out on my book. Okay, so that is glued down now. Let's get this side. You go right. I go right up to the edge of the fabric there, and then come out a little bit at a time until I reach the edge so I don't put too much on there. That's that's my that's what I try to do anyway. So now I'll smooth that out. Let me get my little blue smoother thingy here. Okay. Let me see. Okay, that's all. Now let's see if our edge needs any more. It probably does. No, nope, that's good. There. A little bit right here. Alright, a little bit 
bit down here, tiny bit right here. A little bit right under this corner. Okay, I think that should do it. Nice and flat. So if I decide not to use trim, it'll be pretty and stuck down. Okay. There we go. Starting to shape up here. <laughs> Starting to shape into something. All right, let's get this part done. This little short piece. I'm putting it up a little higher than I need it so I can get this glued down. And then I'm going to bring that down anyway so the glue will be used on that top piece. Okay, let's get this into the groove here. All right, now this piece, well, we gotta put some glue on there. Looks like it's all gonna work, come together here. Get it right on the edge and then bring it down and if I didn't have to press so hard the glue might I mean if the glue came out faster I could get it done faster but I'm having to press so hard it's like major work here get this glue out of this bottle and it takes longer that's what it takes I guess whatever might have to. I know I've punched a hole through that bottle, but I might have to take it off and just run some warm water through there. Maybe that's my problem. But it's almost empty, so. All right, let me make sure. I want to look at this real good. Make sure I got, yeah, I've got glue all over, really. Let me smooth it out a little. Oh, it's starting to dry. I better get it down. But I kind of got it all over, so I don't even need to spread it out. It's like everywhere. So I'll have to put some more on this fabric, though, in a second. After we get this down. Alright. Nice and smooth. I'll smooth it out with this just in case. And let's work in our grooves here. And then fill in the extra. And we'll have a nice, neat little new spine here, nice and pretty, contrasting, plus matching, bringing out all the reds for Christmas. Okay, let's see if we have this down now. I didn't put it all the way down because this fabric's not going all the way down here, so I just put it down to where I thought the fabric was going. So I wouldn't have glue down where I don't want it again. You know what I mean? So that worked out well. All right. Now let's check our edges. This edge is nice and glued down over here. This one is too. Nice and glued down. Okay. That looks beautiful. All right, guys. I think we did it. That was quick, right? Pretty quick. I mean, it maybe wasn't that quick, but <laughs> it seemed quick to me. Wow, I love it. See how the red brings out all the little reds in here? That's what I noticed when I put that fabric against it. And it looks beautiful. I don't really need a trim, and I might not find a trim that I like that, you know, brings everything together in the right way. So that's why I want to make sure this was nice. So in case I leave it just like this, it will look beautiful just like that. So I will look at my trims, though, and see if I have any that... I think do, does look good with the overall look here. Here's the back. That also looks really nice without any trim. And then here's the inside. Super pretty. And it's gonna look nicer with something here and here and here. So I hope you enjoyed. Somebody's walking in my door. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.